Hello, my most amazing artist. This is Mrs. Donner, and I'm here today, and we're going to do a fun little project with pointillism. So we're c covering an artist by the name of George Seurat, and he was the probably the original uh, father of pointillism. George is George S. Seurat is French. And he's quite famous for a painting that I just showed you, and this is a small card of it. Uh, Sunday on la Grande Jete. Now, this is just a beautiful day on the River Seine. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so believe it or not, this is the original painting of this is in the Chicago Art Institute, and it is huge. It's as big as a minivan. I mean, your van could uh, drive in front of it and it would be the same size. So uh, along with George, and in honor of pointillism today, we're going to be talking about the book The Dot by Peter Reynolds. I read The Dot and it is on my YouTube channel. So you can just go ahead and reread The Dot. So the first thing that you're going to probably want is either watercolors or the watercolor markers and the this the sweet little uh, tin tin foil watercolor marker swatches that we made and some paper and you can either use for pointillism you can either use q-tips everybody probably has q-tips and you don't want to stick them in anything today except for some paint. Um, you need some water. And I have, for backup, I have a little paintbrush. And I have some water here. Water. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my... Um, I've got different colors on different edge and ends of my uh, Q-tip. I'm going to load up my paint my uh, paint q-tip with water it was a white one but I thought this would be fun to just I'm gonna just go back and show you I'm loading it up with the orange and the cool thing about this sheet as I explained in the video about this is that it can be reloaded it can be wiped off and reloaded so it would be kind of a fun thing today in honor of the dot and pointillism to maybe make a circle or a dot. You could make a dot, you can make a circle and you can make it into all kinds of things. You can make it into an orange. And I'm gonna get more paint as I go. You can use your paint trays if you want. I'm just gonna do this because it's kind of a fun thing to do. And the Q-tips lend themselves very nicely to the pointillism, right? So now I'm gonna load the green up. I got water on the green, and I'm going to come over here to the green watercolor marker that I have swashed, given a swatch to, and I'm going to, and I am right-handed, but this is more convenient to just go with my left hand, and now we have an orange. I'm going to take a clean Q-tip, come in here, and I'm going to go into my paint tray, and I'm going to load up, wake it up wake up the paint. I'm going to load it up with some red and just for fun because it's a happy day and we love everybody I'm going to make a heart. Now we know that George Seurat he painted this painting with dots and blended colors on the canvas so while he was painting each one of these colors is like a, if you go up on top of it and look at it, it looks like a bunch of little dots. But if you get up close, like the purple for example, he used blue and red and made blue and red dots and so that your eye is tricked into seeing purple from a distance. So there's the painting again. And George is gonna say goodbye now. I want to see what you guys have done with your pointillism, George Seurat, dot creations. Remember, the sky's the limit. 
you can do anything you want and be creative. And if you have Q-tips and your watercolor markers, you're set. So have a great day and thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.